Well, y'all just loved our last Discord video for streamers, so let's go ahead and make another one, why don't we? I've been doing this voice in stream lately, and it seriously will not stop. So last time I talked to y'all about how to set up your Discord server if you're a new or small streamer. This time I want to take you a step deeper into this process. What you want to do after you've set up your server is you need to get some Discord bots that are going to make your server more fun so people will actually talk in it. So that's what we're going to talk about today but before we get into it I want to say thanks so much to our sponsor NordVPN. I've actually been getting into like investing in crypto cryptocurrency lately, so I've needed a VPN to check out some of these websites, and believe it or not, I got NordVPN like a few days before they reached out and asked to sponsor a video. So NordVPN is obviously a VPN. This is really important for y'all if you are on the internet a lot and you care about privacy because a VPN is going to encrypt your internet access. So it's gonna keep your password safe, your banking information safe, it keeps your browsing history private. It also can make it look like you are uh, accessing the internet from a different country, which is freaking bananas to me, but okay, technology, you go. Nord is also really cool because it has an application for pretty much everything. You've got Android, Mac, uh, iOS, Windows, literally whatever device y'all use, even Linux can be protected by Nord. Also, if for some reason, good old Mama Ashney is not enough for you. PewDiePie, Casey Neistat, and Philip DeFranco all use NordVPN too. It is the freaking best of the best whenever it comes to VPNs. The actual software itself is freaking beautiful. I've used a handful of VPNs and this is definitely the best looking one that I have personally seen. So there's a link down below if you wanna check out NordVPN. I hope that y'all love it as much as I do. Let's get back to the video. It's actually really interesting that it's time for me to talk about Discord again because we have been reworking our discord server which there's a link for that below as well if y'all would like to join us but we are literally talking about discord bots with our community managers right now we're trying to figure this out for ourselves so the fact that i'm making this video for you is really like it's fate we're just meant to be baby you and me all right, so I've got four bots for you today. We're gonna start with Me6. Me6 is a bot that I have had in my Discord server for a really long time. Here's some things that it can do. So you can create custom commands. We've got welcome messages and auto rolls, which is really nice. You can do levels and experience in your Discord server. There are moderation tools and announcement plugins so you can announce like YouTube videos or streams. This is what the dashboard looks like whenever you're actually using Me6. As you can see, it's pretty easy. It's there's a lot here for sure, but it's definitely I mean it's you don't have to know any like huge tech anything to freaking use this. So Me6 is a really great just a general Discord bot. The most important things you're going to use Me6 for whenever you are a small streamer is for welcome messages levels and experience, and of course, content announcements. You wanna set up welcome messages so that whenever someone does join your Discord server, they get a message with either your Twitch stream or maybe other content that you're creating and when and where they can show up to see that. Now these can get a little spammy, so don't go overboard with this, but having a welcome mes message in general is just a really good idea. The levels and experience are gonna help people level up in your server. So if you wanted to, you could actually lock certain channels behind an experience level inside of your server so that these channels are only for the people who are really active. This is really great because it gives new users in your channel something to build for and that will be more likely to keep them involved and get them to talk more. General content announcements are really important. So anytime you post a YouTube video or go live on Twitch, you don't wanna have to go into your Discord server and automatically type out a message. You wanna automate this process so that you're going live process is easier. How many times can I say process in one video? Let's figure it out. 
All right, the next bot that you want to play around with as a new streamer, and one that I'm going to start playing around with as well, is one that one of my community managers, Kova Loves, recently introduced me to, which is called Apollo. Apollo helps you plan events in Discord, y'all. Think of all those community nights you could be having, watching movies together, playing games together, maybe doing book clubs. I mean, whatever you want to do, you can schedule events and people can also get reminders. We haven't started using Apollo just yet. Probably by the time this video is out, we will have started using it, but this is just a freaking game changer. Imagine you can post a an announcement that you're gonna have a community night in your Discord server and people can react to that announcement with emojis in order to get added to that event list. Then when the event happens, they get a freaking DM reminding them to come and hang out with you. Next level, man. I'm telling you, that's so important for a small Discord server because the advantage that you have as a small Discord server is you can hold events like this and everybody can show up and be heard. Larger streamers do not have this advantage. If people show up to their community nights, you usually can't talk because there's so many people trying to talk. So if you're looking for a way to grow that sense of community with the people who show up in your Discord server, this is a incredible way to do it. Okay, the next bot is Zira. Zira allows people in your Discord server to add or remove roles themselves by reacting with emojis to certain messages. So in my server, we've been using Yagbot for this, but we found that Yag tends to go down pretty consistently and Zira just is a lot more stable. The reason that y'all need to use Zira as a small streamer is that it's going to help your audience self-select into the types of announcements or messages or channels they want to see from your server. Whenever you allow people to self-select into these different spaces, you give them choice. And when they feel like they have choice, they really like that. <laughs> they're also not gonna be getting constantly pinged about things that they don't care about, which means that they're more likely to stay in your server longer, which decreases the amount of people who are leaving your Discord server and eventually, hopefully will make it easier for you to get Discord partner. So you can set roles for people who want to get announcements of your YouTube videos, want to get announcements of TikToks, or want to get announcements of live streams. You can create different chat channels for the YouTubers, the streamers, the TikTok creators, and you create those channels to only be viewable by people who have a specific role. Then when people self-select into choosing that role, they can can view those channels. This also really helps if you want to just straight up completely lock down your Discord server. So what a lot of people do is they will have an intro channel in their Discord server that kind of outlines the rules. We talked about that in the previous video. And then after someone has read the rules, they acknowledge that they've read them by using an emoji to react to that message. Once they've reacted to that message with the emoji, then they are uh, then the rest of the server opens up to them. So this is a really great way to just kind of protect your server a little bit more so that random people who come in trying to spam hopefully get a little bit confused about how to do that. <laughs> now, because you're a small streamer and you're looking to grow your Discord server, you probably also want to grow your stream. Here's a video I created about why small streamers struggle to grow. I'll see you over in that one. I love y'all. Bye. Don't forget to hang out with NordVPN. Okay, bye.